Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at the antivirus software everyone is talking about, which is called Total AV. Now, Total AV has a quite an aggressive advertisement campaign when it comes to advertising their antivirus program. They use quite a few fear mongering tactics to get sales of their antivirus program. So when I go searching for Total AV and download it onto a virtual machine, I get blocked by my antivirus software ESET. So I did a bit of research and found out that it comes under the badware banner on a lot of sites. So what I had to do is I had to disable uh, my antivirus program so I could download it and show you basically what it is. Now you shouldn't be getting antivirus programs being blocked by other antivirus programs. That right there is quite an alarming uh, warning to people if you're going to download stuff. Now, if you go to other antivirus program websites, they open perfectly fine. As you can see here, I'll open this McAfee one up here and it opens perfectly fine. Now, there's quite a few articles online that really do recommend Total AV. And a lot of these are created by a lot of antivirus companies that are promoting their own antivirus software to be the best out there. So what I'm going to do is quickly disable my antivirus program and get this installed and we'll take a look at what the real main deal is when you download and install it. So straight away, I can see Total AV, free antivirus and internet security for 2023. It tells me that 35 million people have downloaded it and installed it on their system, and it can remove malware, viruses, adware, spyware threats, and other nasties which are out there on the internet to protect you. So let's go ahead and get this downloaded and get it installed. So far, no alarm bells apart from the website being blocked by my antivirus program. So I'm going to go ahead and get this quickly installed and we'll continue on. So I'll let this do its first initial scan because it needs to do one of these. And also it wants me to create an account, but I think I can still use it without an account. So I can already see here, there's a little pop up down here saying malware protection enabled. Total and AV protection is enabled. You're protected against real time threats. And now I can see a special deal coming up on the right hand side. A website opens and it's telling me about Trustpilot has five stars and a bunch of other stuff here. Let's go ahead and uh, close this website off and take a look at the actual software. Now, before I did that, straight away, I'm being uh, nagged by a 75% off uh, trial AV Pro today. So that's what it's basically trying to do. It's trying to make me buy something already. And this is the problem with these particular types of antivirus software where they're geared to try and get money out of you straight away. Your total AV antivirus pro trial expires in seven days. Upgrade to the total AV pro now to stay safe against ransomware viruses, Trojans and other threats and stuff like that. So it's already saying we've got a seven day trial now and uh, it claimed it was free and now we've got a seven day trial. So it looks like a normal antivirus program you can see here, bundled with a bunch of other stuff that you probably don't need like junk cleaner, duplicate file finder and all this other rubbish that other antivirus programs are also promoting nowadays. So here we have the next screen, you are protected but it expires in seven days. Why they would do that I really don't know. So what I'm going to do is quickly forward the clock for one month so it expires and then we can see what we actually get. Straight away, malware protection disabled, total AV protection is disabled, and now the nagging will start for you to buy their antivirus software. So you get seven days to actually have it on your system. It was told that it was a free piece of software, and now you've downloaded it. And you've got seven day trial and now real time protection has expired. Your computer is no longer protected by Total AV and may be vulnerable to threats such as ransomware Trojans and other malware threats. So there you go. It's now turned off the antivirus program. They've gone through all the palaver of installing it and to try to get protected. And then within seven days, you're now not protected. I mean, I've never known an antivirus company to actually do that within seven days but Total AV have. Now we're getting the antivirus protection expired, and now it's telling us that we can go to this website, and there you go, until you renew your uh, account, 
you can use Windows Defender Antivirus. And it's now telling us there's a special offer again. As you can see here, we can save up to £90 off today. And straight away, it's quite an aggressive approach to getting you to buy the product. So you get like seven days, and then all of a sudden, all your antivirus program is going to be disabled. And now they want to force you into buying their product. And then the nag screens will pop up. So here we go, and now we're getting offered to save £90 off today, and uh, there's the price right there. So that's what they're trying to do, is get you to buy their product, really, special offers and all this sort of nonsense. And normally, uh, these types of companies will bombard you with pop-ups as well to try and coax you into uh, buying it. And normally that happens once you start going near uh, the browser at the top or you move it like this. And straight away, you can see here, wait before you leave, save £90 off today. Antivirus today, and now only £2.42 a month. So this is where the tricky bit is. And I've did a bit of research on this, and they're saying it's £2.42 a month, and you get £90 off. So that's pretty hefty for an antivirus. And I move up the top here, and straight away, we can now save £100 uh, on this particular type of antivirus. So if I refresh that page, it will continue to do that until you actually buy it. And this is what they're trying to do. The price will keep changing here. As soon as you move, there we go. And if I did it again and close that off, it will probably give me £100. So save £90, save £100. There you go. And there you go. So £1.59 a month. Now, where the problem is with this particular antivirus, which I've seen, is people complaining it's an automatic renew, and it then comes out to be over £100 coming out of their account for an antivirus program, which you can actually use a free version of Bitdefender or Kaspersky, and you're not having to shell out a load of money. So that is a bit scammy in my personal opinion. So you can see here we now have no protection, no real-time protection, and they've got us to install this for seven days, and now we've been uh, cut off, basically. And it's really just to get people to buy their product, which is quite a shady approach. Now, you'll see websites just like this one that says it's number one best antivirus program, and they invest heavily into some of the aggressive uh, adverts. And I've been on to some of them where it's a borderline fear mongering to get you to buy it. So let's go over to Trustpilot, and we'll see uh, what's going on over here. I can see a bit of uh, bad scores here so let me go through here and we'll have a look and there you go warning avoid total av their business model is clearly includes abusive and probably fraudulent practices unauthorized annual subscription renewals uh, no warning a rate uh, increases and outrageously unresponsive customer service you get your credit card number and they just milk it and that's basically what he's saying there and he says you get bombarded with uh, nuisance ads and a bunch of other things here just getting the run around when you contact them and here's another one here complaining about the same sort of thing really now, i've seen people doing sponsored reviews for this software and really sort of bigging it up and claiming it's fantastic and that is not good when someone is being paid to do a review of the software and saying it's awesome software that means you've sold your soul to the devil and you will not find me doing that on this uh, channel and here's one here that says i paid a renewal on the 2nd of the 9th early am wasn't able to access until the 2nd of the 12th i kept receiving messages that the update would be complete in 30 minutes and it just wasn't so you can see quite a few disturbing things here and there's another one down here as well no customer service quite a few complaints about the renewal where it's gone up from a small fee to 100 odd pounds and they have responded to wav have done some responses here now obviously these people haven't read the terms of service and that's exactly what you should be doing before you uh, buy something like this again total av beware can't uninstall it. Had to go in safe mode to uninstall it. Also about refunds and about, uh, you know, renewal fees and stuff like that. There's quite a few things here. Also, Malware Tips has got an article on here, although it was in 2018. And again, it's not good news, as you can see here. So be very careful. There's quite a bit of information out there. Some of the stuff that's promoting it and saying it's fantastic is obviously created by a lot of these companies themselves. 
Now, obviously, there's quite a bit of information here. Now, all I can say is I'm going by what I've done myself, downloading the software, saying it was free, and it ended up with a seven-day trial and then ended up going into wanting money. So that's all I can have an opinion on. These opinions here by these people saying it was written by a malware writer uh, back in the day and a bunch of other stuff. I can't verify any of this stuff. This stuff is on the internet, and I'm just reading it off here just so you can see. And this is another site that's uh, got some pretty bad reviews saying they take your money and then you can't contact anyone, total scam, and a bunch of other stuff here, as you can see. But the list is endless. So some of this stuff could have been avoided if they went to the website and went down the bottom here. And you can see auto renew policy. And you can read all the information about their auto renew policy. And this will tell you exactly what their policies are. It says you will receive an email reminder at least 30 days before the renewal charges take place. Also, it says regular rates for our annual antivirus pro is currently £119. If you wish to opt out of the automatic renewal, you can do so within the billing section of your account. Alternatively, you can speak with our billing department should you require assistance. So you can see here prices are subject to change. Details can be found on the link where it says here. So a lot of companies do this. Uh, Norton do it as well, where they have an auto renewal policy. You can go in and disable that feature. I've made a video about that. But when you click on the subscription pricing matrix here, it will tell you exactly what it is and what you're getting for your money. It tells you there in black and white that the Antivirus Pro is for one month to 12 months, $9.95. Uh, now, you're getting a promotion there, but after that period, one month, you're going to end up getting your first year renewal will be $119. Second year renewal will be $159 and so on and so on. For total security and internet security, it says there in black and white the prices, which are pretty extortionate. But it, if it's there and you don't like it, then don't buy it. Don't subscribe to it. But where the shady part comes in is when you look at the aggressive advertisement where it says save £100 off and you can get it for £1.59 a month. But what will happen is on the renewal, you're going to get stung by quite a bit. And this is where people get, you know, tricked, really. And you can see the full antivirus protection for just £1. If you're going to uninstall it, you get it this cheap. But on the renewal, if you don't turn that auto renewal off, you're going to end up by paying quite a fair bit of money. So be very, very careful uh, when you're, you know, sort of doing this sort of stuff, because if you forget to uncheck the auto renewal, it's going to automatically take money out of your account. And then you're going to basically be paying a hefty bill. And like I said before, there is plenty of free options out there which are totally free. Bitdefender is probably one of the best antivirus software out there on the market. And again, you can download it and install it on your PC for free. None of this. Uh, dodgy dealings that you can see going on here. Kaspersky have a cloud-free application which you can use as well. And again, some of their paid options are way cheaper than Total AV. And there is a load of other antivirus software out there you can use, like Avast and some other ones out there. I'm not going to go for them all, but there's quite a few. So do your research, and you won't be getting stung like you see here when you're installed in, say, Total AV, and then you forget about the auto renew, and it then takes a big chunk of money out of your account. Now, after seeing what I've seen on the internet and also having a little test of it myself, would I use Total AV myself, and would I recommend people use it? And the short answer to that is I would not touch it with a 10-foot barge pole. It's not what I would recommend people use. There's plenty of other better options out there, and it will stop you falling foul to getting big massive bills like 100 odd pounds for renewal fees which is an absolute rip off and you've got better options out there which are free anyway i hope this video has been sort of informative and helpful to you if you're using total av let me know in the comments section below what your opinions are I'll be happy to read your comments my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who are joined my youtube members group I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.